friends, I'm Akash and this is your News of the Week for the week of August 28th to September 3rd, 2022. I'm Akash Rakoti and let's take a look at our headlines. We have the former leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, passes away. Next up, an update on the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago, which is President Trump's Florida mansion. Next up, the 2022 Pakistan floods, which are devastating. And India unveils its first self-built aircraft carrier, just the sixth country to do so. And finally, the CDC recommends the new bivalent COVID-19 booster vaccine. So let's take a look at each of these stories in turn. And we start off with the last USSR president, Mikhail Gorbachev, passed away on Tuesday, August 30th in Moscow, Russia. Mr. Gorbachev, who brought the Cold War to a peaceful end by dissolving the Soviet Union, was suffering with age-related illness and was 91 years old at the time of his death. On Saturday, September 3rd, a farewell ceremony was held in the famous Pillar Hall of the House of the Unions in Moscow. And on Thursday, President Vladimir Putin privately laid flowers at Gorbachev's coffin at the Moscow hospital where he passed away. The Kremlin denied a state funeral but announced that the ceremony would have elements of one, such as honorary guards and the government's assistance for organizing it. Now, apparently declaring a state funeral for Gorbachev would have obliged Putin to attend it and would have also required Russia to invite foreign leaders, something that the Kremlin would be reluctant to do amid soaring tensions with the West after having sended troops to Ukraine during the war. And Russia's former number two leader and the current deputy chairman of the Security Council of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev, attended Saturday's funeral along with hundreds of mourners who paid their tributes to the final leader of the Soviet era, Mikhail Gorbachev. Next up, a federal judge unsealed a list of some of the items the FBI found after executing a search warrant at the house of former President Donald Trump, Florida mansion Mar-a-Lago on August 8th. Now, the Department of Justice also released photos of some of the top secret documents Trump illegally stored at Mar-a-Lago, which is his private Florida mansion. As you can see here, this photo, which was released by the Department of Justice, contains documents labeled secret and top secret, indicating the two highest levels of classification among U.S. government documents. And plus, those top secret files also contain the letters H-C-S-P-S-I-T-K. And this is basically code for saying that these files contained critical information from human spies in other countries, electronic surveillance programs, or espionage satellites. And President Trump vehemently denied that he had taken these documents, suggesting on his own social media network that the FBI and DOJ had framed him. But with this very incriminating picture and many more things to come, President Trump very well could be convicted of violations of the Espionage Act or obstruction of justice, depending on what is found inside the unreleased files. And that is what's going on with an update on the FBI search warrant of President Trump's Florida mansion, Mar-a-Lago. Next up, devastating floods in Pakistan this year kill at least 1,250 people and displaced hundreds of thousands more. Monsoons usually bring lots of rain around this time in the Indian subcontinent, but unprecedented rains this year brought the worst floods Pakistan has ever seen in its entire history. At least one third of Pakistan is affected by these floods, as almost all of the rivers in the country are completely overflowing. And the United States, China, Europe, and the UN all jumped in to help Pakistan during these difficult times. And I truly pray for everyone during this event. So make sure to stay safe. And now it's time for, on September 2nd, 2022, India unveiled its first home-built aircraft carrier, the INS Vikrant, joining the elite group of countries that have built their own aircraft carriers. Those being the USA, the UK, Russia, China, 
France and now India. On Saturday, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi commissioned INS Vikrant in Cochin, Kerala. INS Vikrant is the second operational aircraft carrier and one of the largest warships in the world. And India's other aircraft carrier is INS Vikramaditya, which was brought from Russia in 2013. It took 17 years for the government-owned Cochin shipyard to build INS Vikrant for the Indian Navy, and it cost $3 billion. And INS Vikrant can accommodate a crew of 1,600 and a fleet of 30 aircraft. The newly built INS Vikrant was named after India's first aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, which was commissioned during 1961 to 1997. And so this one is seen as a successor. And Vikrant means courageous in Sanskrit. And for sure, INS Vikrant will give a lot of courage and will add significantly to the India's maritime capabilities in the seas. And soon enough, we'll be seeing INS Vikrant sailing the waters. And that is pretty cool. All right, now it's time for the last story of the week. On Friday, September 2nd, 2022, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention of the United States, the CDC, recommended the use of the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 booster vaccine redesigned to target the BA4 and BA5 Omicron subvariants of the coronavirus for people 12 years and older. These booster vaccines are termed as bivalent vaccines because they target the new subvariants of COVID virus, those being Omicron BA4 and Omicron BA5. And the U.S. government plans to keep the widespread of the new COVID-19 variants out in control as the fall and winter season is now coming up fast. So making sure that we keep COVID-19 contained and safe is of the utmost importance. The newly approved bivalent vaccine will soon be available in retail pharmacies and clinics near you all over the U.S. So make sure to get one as soon as you can. And that is all of your news of the week for the week of August 28th to September 3rd, 2022. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.